Hi, I'm Joe Dante. This is Trailers from Hell. Uh, today's trailer is nobody's favorite Orson Welles picture. Uh, it's called Mr. Arcaden. It's a terminally unfinished Welles picture from his European period, uh, which has been actually pretty difficult to see in decent prints uh, until just recently. It's, um, I think, a very interesting picture that uh, it, it doesn't quite make it, but is full of really interesting stuff and interesting characters, and uh, oddly enough, prefigures the morricone leone collaborations in that uh, Wells had composer Paul Mizraki write the music without looking at the picture. Here it is. When I said that this is nobody's favorite Orson Welles movie, it's not really strictly true because in 1956, Cahiers de Cinema listed this as one of the ten greatest pictures of all time uh, based on a, a version titled Confidential Report, which was released by Warner Brothers and was recut by the producer Louis Dolivet, who was started out as a friend of Orson's and uh, ended up as not a friend of Orson's. Uh, it's a very strange film. Um, it, it's not much loved, but it is um, filled with remarkable Orson Welles-like sequences. Uh, it exists in five distinct versions, two of them Spanish, uh, which include different actors in different roles. But Peter Bogdanovich in 1960 found a work print version, and was, it was released in America in 1962 as Mr. Arcaden, and it preserves Welles' flashback structure much better, but unfortunately is uh, technically rather uh, ragged. It, there's a criterion version of this, which has a number of the uh, different iterations of this picture together, and is probably the way to go if you want to really learn anything about this movie. It remains his most mysterious movie. Um, it, 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 there's no real version of what it was that he was trying to do. Who were you? I do not know who I am. You're going after Arcadin's money in your own way through his daughter, aren't you? Here's Patricia Medina, who I think gives the best performance in the picture, and who ironically has never seen it. Um, it's it's a uh, it's a picture filled with Orson Welles uh, touches, and uh, he dubs half the cast in different versions. Um, and it's it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, it's not exactly satisfying though.